This is question 11. Here we're asked to write down the value of 25 to the power of 0. This is a nice easy one because what we can say is that any quantity uh, raised to the power of 0, we can say that that will be equal to 1. So 11a it will be equal to 1. Question B, we're asked to write down the value of 49 to the power of a negative half. So the first thing to note here is that if we have a negative power, then in order to work this out, we're going to have to take the reciprocal of the base. So our base here is 49. The reciprocal of 49 would be 1 over 49. So we are going to take, we've taken the reciprocal of 49, which is 1 over 49. And then when we do that, we can switch this negative power as it is at the moment to a positive power. So by taking the reciprocal, that removes the negative power. Now what we've got is 1 over 49 to the power of a half. And 1 over 49 to the power of a half when we're raising a power to a half or any fraction the denominator tells us what root we need to take of the base so our base now is 1 over 49 and so we need to take the second root or the square root of 1 over 49 so we are going to take the square root of 1 over 49 and the square root of 1 is 1, the square root of 49 is 7. So um, our answer here is 1 over 7. Now for part C, we're asked to write 4 multiplied by 8 divided by 16 cubed as a power of 2. Now when we're asked to do this, when we're asked to write something as a single power of 2, to work this out, we're going to have to write all of our values as powers of 2. So instead of writing 4 as, as it is, we're going to write this down. We're going to say that 4 is the same as 2 squared. So I'm taking 2 squared, then with 8, well, what is 8 as a power of 2? I can say that that will be 2 cubed, 2 times 2 times 2. Then I'm going to divide that by, and this one here, I've got 16 cubed. So if I just think about 16 cubed, what is that as a power of 2? 16 cubed as a power of 2, well, if 8 is 2 cubed, then 16 will be 2 to the power of 4. So 16 is 2 to the power of 4, and I'm raising that to the power of 3. So I've just taken that base and rewritten it as a power of 2. Now I've got all of these values as powers of 2. I can now work it out. I've got 2 squared times 2 cubed. Now when I'm multiplying, uh, when I'm multiplying indices, all I have to do is take the powers and add them. So 2 squared times 2 cubed will give me... 2 to the power of 5 and then I've now got 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 3 so I can think of this as being 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 or I could just say that this is going to be 2 to the power of 12 so now I've got 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of 12. And so when I'm dividing indices, all I have to do is subtract the powers. So 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of 12 is going to give me 2 to the power of 5 minus 12, or 2 to the power of negative 7. So final answer there would be 2 to the power of negative 7.